Governor Greg Abbott once again making his stance on the Israel-Hamas conflict very clear, this time in the form of a potentially consequential executive order. Abbott is giving Texas's public university systems 90 days to, one, update their free speech policies to address the rise in anti-Semitic speech on campuses, two, establish punishments, including expulsion, three, ensure enforcement on all their campuses, and four, define anti-Semitism in their policies. In a statement, Abbott said the state of Texas stands with Israel and the Jewish community, and we must escalate our efforts to protect against anti-Semitism at Texas colleges and universities and across our state. He can ask the universities to review their policies all he wants, but the First Amendment dictates only one outcome, which is that this type of speech, protests, and speech about Israel or Palestine, that's protected. Attorney Adam Steinbaugh says no matter what the speech is, the First Amendment protects it and protects the public from this kind of executive order. Speech can be hateful. It can be deeply offensive to each other. But that's that's what the First Amendment is supposed to protect, speech that we find deeply offensive. In a statement today from UTSA Associate Vice President Joe Isbrand, he said the university would comply with the executive order, saying, quote, we do not tolerate hateful acts against any group or individual. Steinbaugh says if any universities follow suit, lawsuits may follow. If they weaken their policies to uh, uh, weaken students' First Amendment rights, I think that leaves them exposed to litigation, yes. Matt